student, I am Rakesh Shobhe from Sunbeam Sun City. Jai Hindi Wall. My dear, in the uh, online uh, discussion, in the online teaching, uh, we all know that our Sunbeam group or we all teachers are teaching you online. So in the online teaching, we are teaching you the topic so called as a ray optics. Apart from that, my dear, uh, if you have any query or any doubt regarding this online teaching of the ray optics, you can see the video which is uploaded right now to you all. This is only for you all. Please watch this video carefully on the topic called Ray Optics. My dear, before I will proceed to this topic Ray Optics, I just wanted to convey one message to you all through this video. My dear, you all know that right now we all are facing a very, very a problematic the virus that is nothing but corona and and since entire world is facing with this virus the tremendous we are we are losing the life and you all know as a student my dear the human life the human being the my our family member the one to whom we love so much they all are so much important so my dear please it's my request through this video that please don't leave your home be at home only and keep distance have a distance, keep distance in your locality, in your family also, no issues about it. But see to it that you are not leaving your home, you are be at home, keep safe yourself. That's all. Thank you very much. Now let's begin with the topic of optics. Under that, my dear, as we are discussing online, that under optics we have two chapters. One is a ray optics, another is a wave optics. Wave optics. Now my dear, this two chapter which we are having, ray optics and wave optics, just imagine it, why sir we have two chapter. Uh, we are dealing a kind of a phenomena, a kind of a topic, nothing but optics, that is light. Optics, that is light. So why the light is categorized in two part, in two chapters in your physics textbook by NCRT that is one by the name as ray optics which is chapter number 9 and other is the name as a wave optics which is chapter number 10 according to NCRT. My dear this is very important to we all student to aware that what is the distinguish what how to differentiate ray as well as wave optics but before that you should aware about an important concepts what is actually the important concept which differentiate, which categorize the ray as well as wave? So let's proceed with the ray optics first and in between I will give you the differentiation also. Now my dear, in the ray optics as, as we start with, we all know that even, even I told you all in online teaching also that generally the optics means a light. Right. Everybody know optics means a light. That's nothing uh, di difficult to say hey, what is optics. Like sound, like heat, there is an optics term which represents the light. Now, the another word is a ray. Please, please try to understand the another word is a ray. Now, in geometry, I will write it over here. In geometry, in geometry, everybody know ray means a straight line. It is a line segment. Everybody know, sir, in geometry, a ray means a line segment or a straight line. But my dear, just it is a straight line? I don't think. It is a straight line with a specific direction. Now here, which I have drawn this arrow, you can tell, sir, here, the, the object, the, the things, is moving from left to right. I hope it is clear. And see, this is so specifically mean as a ray. A straight line, it's just not only a straight line, a straight line with specific direction. So here I am writing, what is ray? Ray is a straight line, straight line with specific direction. And this is the reason why whenever we ask you to draw the ray diagram in class 10th also, whenever you have to draw the ray diagram, you are drawing the diagram, you are drawing a line on that you are showing arrow. Don't forget that. That shows that that is the direction, the light coming from here to here, the light coming from here to here, this way. 
so that means a ray it's having a straight line with direction and my dear this is the reason why the ray of optics is also called as i am writing here it is also called as geometrical optics see this is nothing this is not the distinguish between ray optics and wave optics but it is my duty to tell you a brief about ray optics and so that you can able to solve your problem of distinguishing between ray and wave so please take care of this part that sir ray optics is also called as a geometrical optics in our books and and the meaning of ray is nothing but a straight line that is the that is the chapter which tells us that light moves in a straight line light moves in a straight line my dear you know this word light moves in a straight line in class 10th we are familiar with this word and in class 10 for the same word the 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 physicist has given a scientific name whenever we say straight line light travel in a straight line you know a uh, scientifically we can call that entire statement as rectilinear propagation of light hai na ye pure statement light moves in a straight line agar hum bolte hain some public say light moves in a straight line and some public say a hey, light shows rectilinear propagation phenomena light shows rectilinear propagation phenomena ultimately the, the both the human being wanted to say that light travel in a straight line okay so this is the chapter where we are going to deal a light travel in a straight line that is the 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 phenomena of rectilinear propagation of light my dear this straight line motion of light help us to understand uh, we will discuss this in our chapter as our chapter will go on uh, proceeding with from one topic to the another topic you will come to know that how the light is in a straight line helping the different phenomena now so under this chapter we have three phenomena to study under the chapter of ray optics we have to discuss three phenomena they are reflection refraction and dispersion my dear this three phenomena we will deal in this chapter ray optics am i clear and and you know this three phenomena other way around the people can ask you this question which are the phenomena please take care of this question that which are the phenomena which are possible due to the straight line motion of light which are there due to the straight line motion of light or which are there due to light travel in a straight line and the name of the phenomena is are reflection refraction and dispersion these are the phenomena which are studied which are studied due to the straight line motion of light please take care of this one now my dear let's go to the another part which i have jotted on the board that is wave optics let's go to that part also let let disclose the little bit about wave optics to you so that i will see whether you can able to differentiate between ray or wave right now or not right so look at this part also little bit. so up till now i talk about ray optics i said that ray optics as nothing but optics means light ray means as a geometrical meaning a straight line with a specific direction and therefore this optics is also called geometrical optics am i clear apart from that i told you that the light moves in a straight line in short form we call it as a rectilinear propagation of light the scientific name is rectilinear propagation of light when we say it's a light follow rectilinear propagation immediately person say light moves in a straight line and because of this concept because of this rectilinear propagation the we are able to understand 
the three phenomena, the three very important phenomena that are reflection, refraction, and dispersion, which you studied in class 10. So, my dear, if you already studied in class 10, so why we are keeping this in class 12? This is an important question in your mind. My dear, in class 10, you have studied them superficially. You have not studied deep about reflection, neither you have studied deep about refraction nor dispersion. And therefore, this is my humble request to you all, please concentrate on the chapter, on the topic very well, because now in the class 12, we will introduce the mirror formula, we will introduce lens formula, lens maker formula, we will introduce the dispersion, angular dispersion, dispersive power, different, different terms, simple microscope, different kind of optical instruments. So don't think that class 10th will able to help you to, to, to get entire thing about class 12th. No, the class 10th is basic for you, which you should aware about. And through my video also, if you will watch my video completely, you will come to know that the ray optics, what are the basic things which you studied in class 10th and now we, they are the basic part of class 12th. Now, let's go to the another part of the chapter that is wave optics. In the wave optics part, let me introduce you about this part also. In wave optics, you all know that light is an, I am writing here, you all know from class 10, light is an electromagnetic wave. I am sure every student know that light is an electromagnetic wave. My dear, look at the last word which I have written here, wave. You know what this mean as? This mean as that light possesses wave nature also. I will write light possesses light possesses wave nature also. Why am I writing also? Because right now, just two minutes back, I have told light move in a straight line. I have not told that hey, light has a wave nature also, light has a wave character also. No, I have not introduced. It means this is another property. So what is my first property was? Light travel in a straight line, scientifically we say rectilinear propagation. What is another property which we came to know light right now? That light is a wave. Light is an electromagnetic wave. It is a wave. It, is, it has a wave nature. It possesses wave nature. And because of this wave nature, try to understand, because, because of this wave nature of the light, because of this wave nature of the light, we are able to understand or study the three another phenomena which are very important, my dear, which we will discuss in the chapter wave optics. They are, I am writing here the phenomena number four, because there are one, two, three phenomena already I have discussed here, one, two and three. So here I am writing the phenomena number 4. The phenomena number 4 is interference. Interference. What is interference you know? You know what is interference? When I said it is a wave, when I said everybody know now the light is a wave. And if I said wave, there are one wave, two wave, one wave is coming from say from here, other wave is coming from here, third wave is coming from here. There are so many waves. And you tell me, you know, you all know, red, red light wave, green light wave, blue light wave. If all these are the color of the light waves will come to one point and they interfere. And this phenomena is called interference, which will be only possible if I know that light has a wave nature. Please take care. The another phenomena is possible due to wave nature is diffraction. Diffraction. My dear, in this video, in this video, I am not teaching you a, a, a maximum part of it because I am giving you a short knowledge because right now you should aware about what are these terms. So you should aware about little bit about this term. So as you know about interference, right now I decode it. The similarly the diffraction. What is diffraction? Sir, it encroaching the geometrical shadow. It, the light has a ability to bend at the round corner. Corner may light ki ek ability hoti hai. Jaha corner hota hai, light pe bend ho jata hai. You understand corner. Please try to understand. Light has a ability to bend at the round corner. 
Am I clear? And and the, and this phenomena is called diffraction. You know, this bending of light. Now, you can understand that if I bend the light in a corner like this, you see my board. If I bend the light like this, this is called corner, say round corner. It means this is only possible when we say the light has a wave nature. I have drawn it. ये बैंडिंग ये राउंड कॉर्नर पे बैंड होने का कंसेप्ट तभी समझ में आएगा वेन हमको ये मालूम है कि लाइट हैज अ वेव नेचर सो डायफ्रैक्शन फिनोमिना इज आल्सो स्टडीड ड्यू टू द वेव नेचर ऑफ लाइट एंड द थर्ड द लास्ट वन द सिक्स्थ वन व्हिच इज देयर इन योर सिलेबस आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट दोस फिनोमिनास द लास्ट वन इज पोलराइजेशन पोलराइजेशन polarization this is also a beautiful phenomena and everybody aware about it because everybody wear sunglasses on sunglasses you can see there is a polaroid you know there is a polaroid the black color coated that's called polaroid and that black coated polaroid is actually possible because of the this this uh, uh, actually there will be a absorption of light takes place i'm not discussing much about it but you understand the phenomena the phenomena is polarization is also possible because of wave nature i'll discuss in my rest all videos i'll discuss brief about interference diffraction and polarization you keep watching my videos but right now what is my basic important point is can we study the phenomena of interference polarization or diffraction i repeat can we study the phenomena of interference diffraction and polarization due to the straight line motion of light no they are studied due to the wave nature of light because light is a electromagnetic wave because of its wave nature we can study these three phenomena they are interference diffraction and polarization and because of the straight line motion we can study these three phenomena they are reflection they are <coughs> refraction sorry and they are dispersion so my dear this is the two small concept which i have given through my video that which are the phenomena which you are going to study in the chapter 9 and in the chapter 10 but it doesn't mean that ki i am giving you or i am writing the distinguished points distinguished is something else also some point which you should know very well this is very important nowadays my dear because we have mcqs question now so this is the why i have given you this two ideas that what are the phenomena that takes place in wave nature or due to the wave nature or in the chapter wave optics and what are the phenomena are takes place due to the straight line motion of the light or due to the rectilinear propagation of light and they are over here we will study in the chapter called wave optics if you wish to write anything from the board please you write it down afterward after giving 2 minutes i will give you a discussion i will make a discussion with you all that how will you distinguish what is the very important main point to distinguish between one only one point only which is to distinguish between ray optics and wave optics i am giving you 2 minutes to write this from the board